Hello and welcome. You can see this empty.blend file here, and you can see that it is not associated with Blender, which is a problem that you might have. That .blend files are not associated with Blender, and therefore maybe your Unity doesn't work with Blend files. I'm going to show you what happens if you install Blender using their .msi installer. We're just going to rush through this process. It's a somewhat slow computer, so I'm speeding this up. All right, once this is done, the empty.blend file already has an icon, and we can just double-click it, and it will open the blend file in Blender. This one is just an empty file I created. Just the ending is associated with Blender. The file itself is empty, so it just creates a default scene. That's fine, that's great. But if we uninstall Blender and uh, then we're going to download it as a zip file, I assume that most of you either have Blender as a zip file or you install it using Steam, because I hear people using Steam to install Blender have this problem with files not being associated. So we're going to hopefully be able to help you with that. So what I did was uh, downloading Blender as a, as a zip file and now I'm extracting it. And uh, here it is, in the folder of Blender. Here's the blender.exe file. And if we go back to documents, we can see the empty.blend file still has its icon. This probably will get fixed if we restart uh, Explorer or the computer. I double click it and it just doesn't work because the application is gone, even though it still remembers the icon for some reason. So after a restart cycle, we see it's still not associated with Blender, but it has some kind of icon, which is just wrong. Uh, anyways, to make the association work again, or work in the first place in your case, you have to know where the blender.exe is, copy the path to that uh, folder, to that location, then double-click the file.blend that you have, create one if you don't, and then click on more apps. Scroll down to look for another app on this PC, and paste the path right in there. Then press open or enter. And here select the blender.exe file, double-click it, or press open. This is one way to do it. And now you have it here, and uh, you probably want to put the checkmark at always open with this program. But here, just a quick demonstration, as you can see, it opens Blender. And if we go to open with, we can select Blender directly, or we can choose choose another app. And then here we can again pick Blender and also make it a default. That's another option, or we can right click it, go to properties, and then go to uh, the general tab, which is by default, and press the change button. By, at opens with, and here we can do the same thing. Press on Blender, select Blender, press OK, and now it's associated permanently, and you can see the icon again. And now all you have to do is double click the icon, the file, and it will start in Blender. Great! Alright, I hope this helps. Have fun using Blender, make some nice models. See you next time, until then, ciao!